What's up, avid readers, fellow word nerds, and my book babes? It's your girl, Natima Sheree, the book enthusiast on this wonderful Words Matter Wednesday. As mentioned in my last video, I did say that I had an author spotlight slash book review that I wanted to bring you guys this coming Wednesday. And so here it is, super excited to get into it. But before I do, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Mommies and Money Makers Inc. for sending me this really dope mom life tea. I don't know if y'all can see it, it says hashtag mom life. Super excited, thank you all for your support and partnership. Really, really hoping that your business grows quickly and I will link all of their information down below so you other moms and mompreneurs can show these ladies some love. So really quickly, y'all know I don't like long videos, so I'm just gonna jump right into this book review. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about the author. I actually met her um, at a beautiful Believers brunch event not that long ago, and she was the keynote speaker. She did have a table, a vendor table, um, with her books and some of the other things that she was doing available. As y'all know, I immediately, I'm attracted to the books, honey. I will spot a book anywhere. Is that not crazy? Like, I mean, they had a ton of vendors, dope jewelry vendors, clothing, purses. Leave it up to Natima to find the book. Like, I'm going to find the books in the room. And so I ran into this young lady. We only had a few minutes to speak because the event was starting. But I did get a copy of her book. And I have to say, it was not at all what I expected, but exceeded any expectations that I had in every way. She truly is dope. Um, an amazing writer and author. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Miss Charlize Johnson. Um, very dope young lady. I mean, I really don't even know how else to describe her. I don't think there are any words that would do her justice. Um, she blew me away. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, she really impressed me. Not that she had to, but I'm just saying, like, I was extremely impressed by her energy, her maturity, um, just her intellect, like she really is somebody that we need to keep our eye on. She, she's gonna be on Oprah's couch one day or Steve Harvey, she about to be somewhere. Um, but anyway, she's an author, producer, forgive me, I'm looking down because I wrote notes about her, <laughs> a director and a speaker. She's also the founder of Act Like a Lady, Think Like a God. And as I mentioned, she is the author of this fabulous book I'm going to review today called Adulterated. Um, there's two sides to every love story. Miss Charlize is a um, native, uh, excuse me, Baltimore native, um, born and raised, and you know, really active in her business and in her speaking here in the area. Like I said, I met her locally um, because I also reside in the Baltimore area. Not from here, from New York. Woo woo, always gonna show my city love, but I do reside here currently. Um, so, anyway, as I mentioned, when I first picked up the book, I really didn't know what to expect. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a good read. Um, it is about, I believe it's just under 200 pages, 181 pages. Um, but the story, oh my gosh. Like, I was not expecting this story. Her writing is, is full of conviction and thought-provoking dialogue through the book. I just have to say, Charlize Carmen. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm here for Carmen's character. I really like her. Um, again, I, I really don't even know what to say. Like this book blew me away. The storyline was consistent. It made sense. It flowed. Um, you got to know each of the characters. There was a lot of subliminal messaging in it. I love that she spoke about um, a relationship with God and the convictions of God when she would go and the main character would go to say things or do things. You know, there would be these thoughts that prompted her to think about what she was going to say or do before doing it. Um, I don't want to tell the story because I really want you to read the book. And if I give you too much, I'll give away the story. But it is um, a love story. But what I noticed is the first relationship that she had was with herself. Like, that's what the first love story was in the book. The one that she had with herself. Like, the introspective view that she had of herself of the, where the character had was like i want to be there you know what i mean like i want to be able to look at myself in the mirror and say yeah i love what i see and that's what she that's what's reflected in this story and in this book um 
just her ability to really keep her word. The, the main character does an excellent job of keeping her word. Um, when she said something, it was what she said, you know? So again, I know I'm speaking in, in subliminals now, but I don't want to tell the story. I really want you to get your hands on this book and read it. It's a really good read. Um, you can probably pick up a copy at her website, which I will link below. But I do want to read um, a little bit about it. It talks about the lore of passion and romance entices the young and beautiful Adama Rustin, landing her into the arms of Ahmad Johnson, a handsome and charismatic police officer who works tirelessly in the gritty, riot-filled streets of Baltimore City. In a whirlwind romance, Adama is swept off her feet but must get used to her role as the girlfriend of a police officer in a city where tension and hatred for her man, for her man are at an all-time high. Um, her courage, you know, the, the courage that sh that's reflected in this main character, um, her resilience, her bravery, her no-nonsense, her self-love, like, I know that there are women like that, not just in Baltimore, not just in this area, but I know women like that in my life, and there I know a lot of women who want to be like that. Um, and like I said, I just really, really enjoy this read. I think that she offers a lot through the eyes and the perspective of the main character as well as some of the other characters in the book so i did rate this book um three books i gave it a three um you guys know my rating system is one meaning it was not a good book don't get it and a five meaning it was the best book ever get it in your your um personal library but i gave this a three because i want another one so i'm hoping <laughs> that she writes more to this story um i really really hope that she gives us more um the way the book ended i think that that's what she's up to i it, there it there was no absolute it wasn't dealing in absolutes there was no definitive end um so I think that we may very well see some more coming from Adama Rustin very soon. And I'm excited about it. So again, I didn't want to keep you guys long. That's all I have today. I look forward to reviewing uh, some of the other books that I listed in my latest video um, from my trip to Amazon Books. And I hope to post some of those reviews soon. But until then, remember that words have power and applied knowledge is fire. Y'all be great.